Hello, artist people. Today we're going to draw, or paint, I should say, a silhouette. And um, I thought this would be good for around Halloween. Uh, my silhouette is an owl in a tree, obviously. I did it with purple paint, and we're going to use value, the lightness and darkness of a color, to create all the different shades in the picture um, and to give a feeling of a bright full moon which is gonna happen on Halloween this year. It's really exciting. Okay, so that's my purple one I just finished and I'm going to take a half sheet of paper like I normally do and turn it um, vertical. And then I'm going to find something round. Here's a blue one I did. I'm going to find something round to trace around for the moon. And what I used yesterday is not around here this morning. So I'm gonna just take my little coffee cup and oop, find a pencil and trace. Look at my coffee cup. Dia de los Muertos. And then I'm going to put the circle right, not right in the middle because that's bad composition, um, somewhere in the rule of thirds. Do you know what the rule of thirds is? It's a helpful tool for artists and photographers and designers to help them put the focus or the, the place of emphasis in a good spot, um, a, um, a pleasing to the eye spot. So I'll show you on the back of this one, okay? Um, you imagine, you don't draw it, but you imagine your paper divided into thirds. This is very rough draft style. And then my paper divided into thirds that way. So I've got three different sections, right? And then you imagine your paper divided into thirds this way. Okay, and somewhere where those lines cross over in one of those four crisscross line areas, that is where you should put the emphasis. So I put my moon in this quadrant, in my blue one. I could put it over here if I wanted to and put the tree on this side. Or I could put my moon down here or put my moon down here. And it depends on what you're making. Um, so I'm going to turn it back over and I'm going to imagine that Chris. Um, crisscross those crisscross lines divided into thirds sort of like a tic-tac-toe board and I'm going to put my emphasis right there so that's where I'm going to put the cup it's not very far to the side it's but it's not in the middle okay and then go around my cup as best I can there we go and then I'm going to start to paint So I should draw that line very lightly. I forgot to do it lightly because the moon's going to be white. So I want it to be a very faint light line so you can't see the pencil line when I paint. Okay, so I got a palette this morning of um, foil, just aluminum foil from the kitchen because I ran out of paper plates. And I got a color, some white, and some black. So you can use any color you want. You could use green, blue, purple, whatever. But you just get one color and some white and some black. And um, I used tempera paint. This is the type of paint that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It was $1.77 when I bought it. So that was a while ago. I don't know how much it costs now. But a big bottle of temple paint like that can last you a long time. Or you can use those little jars of craft paint. Those are easy, good and easy to use. Okay, so, um, you know, that you can get at Walmart for like 99 cents. So, okay, so I'm going to make different values of blue. So the first thing I'm gonna do is paint my moon white. So I'm just gonna take some paint paint the whole thing white and then the next value I'm going to do is a very 
light value of blue. So I'm just gonna put like a speck of blue in the white and mix it up. Okay, and so let's see, I'm gonna take a tiny bit, put it in a little different area, just pull it over. And I don't know if y'all can see this, but it is very light blue. Let me put a little bit more. Okay, there. And I like to use a little bit bigger brush than this. This is what I was using to mix. Um, if you have a larger brush, it, like a flat tip brush, that's a good one to use. If you don't, you can just use that one, like the size I was just using. That's just a normal size. So then you're going to paint a, a line of paint around it. It's so light that you can barely see it, right? But that's good because then it makes it look like the moon is glowing. Okay. And I can see my line and I let me put some white paint over it. <laughs> Didn't like that. See, I can see my pencil line, that's what I was saying. Oops. Okay, so then I'm gonna get the next color. I'm going to take a little bit more blue and put it in my white paint. Let me just pull a little bit more white paint out. So it's a little bit darker this time. Yeah, that's good, okay. And then I'm gonna paint a line, another line. You can overlap a little bit if you want to. All the way around. When you're mixing the values, you have to make sure you mix enough that you can make a line go all the way around. Okay, and then the next one, I just got black paint on my finger. Let me get that off. Okay, so then, <laughs> So then you're going to get the next value of blue, a little bit darker shade. I'm gonna take some more white, cause I ran out, put it right there. Get some more blue. I want it to be darker this time, so I have to get a lot more blue. Mix it up really good before you use it. So you don't have any streaks. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to paint another line. So they should show a, di a little difference between each value. It's gonna look so good. Okay, so the next one is regular turquoise. So this time I'm gonna wash out my brush to get all the white off of it. Rub, press on the side and blot on your paper towel. And then regular um, turquoise. I have turquoise blue for this one. And paint the line around. Make sure it's curved, not straight, especially when you get to the corners, okay? And then um, this time I'm going to take my turquoise blue and add it over here and add it with a little bit of black. Just a little speck of black on your brush. A lot, black is so strong, so be careful. I think I put too much. Okay, so let me get more blue this time. Okay, so there we go. Now I have a very dark blue. It's not black, it's dark blue. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to get, oops. Now I'm gonna get plain black. I'm not gonna to bother to wash out my brush though because the black is so strong, it doesn't matter. And then do the rest. Like a little bit of at the bottom that I didn't finish. Okay, good. All right, so this is done. I'm going to let it dry, put it to the side, and then I can paint my silhouette on top of it. So what I did yesterday is I took my um, paintings that I finished and I put them under some heavy books 
because they were so wrinkly from my, even though I had good paper, um, they were very wrinkly. So I put them under some heavy books and it really helped um, flatten them out. That really helped me. So let me set that to the side. And now I'm going to show you how to make the silhouette of the fence, the tree, the owl, and that's really fun to do. Okay, so let me wash out my brush. Um, I'm just gonna use uh, this blue one right here that I made. I really like the way the purple came out because it looks very Halloween. Um, and I have another purple one too, so you might wanna make several, it's up to you, and then decide how you wanna do it. Oops, I just moved that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, I started doing mine with pencil. If you wanna do it with pencil first, first I made a fence, then I did the tree. Um, you could do it with pencil first or you could just paint it directly. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna put a little water on my brush and dip into the black paint. You have to make sure you have a good amount of black paint. And I'm going to put a fence Those a little thicker. And I'm gonna leave it blank right there because that's where my tree is going. But it's good to put the tree trunk not too thick. Make it kind of a narrow tree so it's easier for you to do the branches. Okay, so I'm gonna start, let me wet my brush a little. It's good if your paint is not thick. So put a little water in it and then mix it up on your palette, okay? So your, your paint is very fluid and flowing onto the paper instead of dragging onto the paper. Like some paint is too dry. So make sure it's flowing with um, fluid paint, not kind of liquidy. Okay, so I'm gonna paint my tree trunk. Yeah, that looks good, okay. All the way up. And you know, tree trunk, trees, trunks are thick at the bottom. So I'm gonna make it a little thicker at the bottom than it is at the top. Then I'm going to veer off, make a branch there. Oops, too skinny right here. Make a branch over here. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm just using the very tip of my brush. I'm barely pressing it down. I'm not pushing it down at all, actually. Like this, I'm not pushing way down. I'm just barely touching the tip to the paper so that it will have a nice, thin line. Okay, because if you get branches that are too thick, it's not gonna look very good. Okay, so this is the branch that I want to be the star branch that goes to the emphasis, to the moon, where my owl will be sitting. So this time I'm going to make my branch scoot straight over to the side. Actually, not a straight line, kind of a wavy branch line. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to Oops, put some more branches off of it under. I'm gonna leave that area um, plain for the owl. So if you're having a hard time making those branches super thin with a regular size brush like this that comes in the little watercolor cases, if you have, you can use a really tiny brush um, that's what I did on my my owl tree. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can just be real careful with the bigger one. I actually was doing fine with the big one. I'm just going to stick with that. Oops. Okay. So continue more and more and more and more branches. Look how many I put. And I took my time. And then for the owl, you may want to draw it with a pencil first, okay? What I did is I put an, an oval 
and then a circle and the ears. This is hard to do when the paint's still wet. I'm afraid it's gonna get on the paper. Okay, so oval, painted in black. Make sure you paint on the pencil lines so they don't show. <clears throat> if you do pencil lines. And then circle. Oh yeah, that looks good. I, I miss my Windsor Park owls. I hope y'all are doing good. There's the tail. Bet y'all are excited about Halloween coming up. Okay. I could put some more branches up here. All right, oh, I forgot the bottom of my fence. Oh my gosh, okay. So then um, connect the lines on the fence. Almost forgot. I don't know why it looks so weird down there. Okay, I'm gonna have to put one more fence post over here. And voila, I'm done. So I hope you have a good time making your um, owl silhouette painting with value. I hope you enjoy it and have a great weekend or have a good day, whatever day you're watching this and enjoy. Bye.